Prince Harry is not anticipated to be accompanied by any senior members of the royal family during the Invictus Games in the UK. In just over a week, the 39-year-old Duke of Sussex will take a plane to the United Kingdom for the first time since the Princess of Wales disclosed her cancer diagnosis. Any preparations for Harry to meet with his father King Charles, sister-in-law Princess Kate, or brother Prince William have not been confirmed by the Sussex's office or Buckingham Palace. To commemorate the 10th anniversary of the Games, he will read in St. Paul's Cathedral in London on May 8. However, no information on the presence of any senior royals, his 42-year-old wife Meghan Markle, or his two kids, Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet, has been released. As with his other recent trips, it is believed that Harry would stay at a hotel while in the UK before leaving for Nigeria a few days later to join Meghan. When he bravely announced his condition to the public in February, he was last seen in the UK, racing across the Atlantic to be with his father, who was suffering from cancer. The chief of defense staff of Nigeria, who first met Harry in September at the Invictus Games in Dusseldorf, has extended an invitation to the pair to participate in cultural activities during an unofficial royal visit. According to Nigerian media, they would interact with service members and their families and take part in traditional cultural activities. When the Sussexes resigned as working royals in January 2020, they left the UK and relocated to America. Local press accounts claim that after Harry and Meghan accepted the invitation, which marked their first trip to Nigeria as a couple, the nation's defense headquarters felt honored and delighted. Meghan disclosed in 2022 that she took a genealogy test a couple years ago and discovered she is 43% Nigerian. I'm going to start to look more into all this because anybody that I've told, especially Nigerian ladies, are like what? The comedian remarked, in reference to Nigerian-American comedian Zai Fumido, on her podcast Archetypes. Days will pass before Harry travels to Britain for the 10th anniversary of the Invictus Games before the visit. According to royal analyst Richard Fitzwilliams, it makes sense for Meghan and Harry to travel to Nigeria given that the nation hopes to host the Invictus Games in the future, and they have ancestral ties there. However, he doesn't think Harry's, no desire, to resume public service is a maneuver by the Sussexes. It's a very good face saver with Meghan not coming to Britain and shows a bit of PR news. He remarked of the trip to Nigeria. The Duke of Sussex will attend the service of Thanksgiving at St. Paul's Cathedral on Wednesday, May 8, according to an Invictus Games representative. It is not yet known, however, if his wife Meghan Markle will accompany him. It will be ten years since the Games were established as a sporting event for ill and disabled veterans and military members, and he is scheduled to read at the occasion. In addition, Actor Damien Lewis is scheduled to perform the Invictus poem at St. Paul's on the occasion of the anniversary of the Games for Wounded Service members. It occurs during a legal dispute involving the Duke's taxpayer-funded personal protection during his visit to the United Kingdom. The Duke of Sussex is making his first visit to the UK since his previous 26-hour journey in February, when his father, King Charles, revealed that he had cancer. The Princess of Wales revealed her personal struggle with the illness in a video message to the country last month, so royal analysts say it is unlikely that Harry will meet with her. I'm confident he won't see Kate, commented Tom Bauer. However, he will go to great lengths to appear to be seeing his father, the king, in order to re-establish his royalty and his titles in order to boost his brand. Should Meghan show up, I would be shocked. Catherine is undergoing preventative chemotherapy treatment, and given how deep the rift is, to me it seems unlikely. Mr. Fitzwilliams continued, The only way a reconciliation could occur is if it took place in secret and we were unaware of it. On the other hand, Mr. Fitzwilliams made the observation that a major illness can occasionally change the game in family dynamics. After so much bad blood, it is very difficult indeed to see any sort of reconciliation between the Sussexes and the royal family happening next week, or for the foreseeable future, stated royal correspondent Michael Cole.
The Invictus Games Foundation will celebrate 10 years of changing lives and saving lives with a service of thanksgiving at St. Paul's Cathedral on May 8, according to a statement posted on the Invictus Games social media accounts. 2. Celebrate The Duke of Sussex, actor Damien Lewis, our patron Prince Harry, and members of the global Invictus community will be joining us. Meghan isn't addressed, though. She'll probably stay at home because their son Archie's fifth birthday is in only two days. With their two children, Princess Lilibet, age two, and Archie, age four, the couple resides in Montecito, California. Following scheduled abdominal surgery in January, the Princess of Wales said in her statement that she had been diagnosed with cancer. Following Kate's cancer announcement, it was reported that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex spoke, privately, with the Prince and Princess of Wales. Additionally, they sent a message to Harper's Bazaar magazine wishing Kate and her family well. Harry visited Canada this month as part of the one-year-to-go celebrations for Vancouver Whistler 2025. The event's goal was to increase public awareness of the 2025 Invictus Games, which will be held in Vancouver from February 8th to 16th of next year. We're going to be cheering for you and we can't wait to one day be able to bring our kids also so they can experience just how amazing this is, Megan said to the assembled audience. Birmingham is presently putting forward a bid to serve as the host city. During his visit to Canada, the Duke of Sussex discussed his plans to become an American citizen, his life in California with his family, and King Charles's unexpected cancer diagnosis with reporter Will Reeve of Good Morning America. During a quick 24-hour journey to the UK, the Duke of Sussex expressed his gratitude to have visited his father Charles III in person and expressed the hope that the diagnosis will have a reunifying effect on the royal family. According to royal analyst Jenny Bond, the nature of his trip, during which he had a brief 45-minute meeting with the King and Camilla and is not thought to have seen his brother William or sister-in-law Kate Middleton, illustrates just how bad things have gotten. After a 10-hour journey from Los Angeles to London, he arrived to the royal home at 2.42 p.m. and spent approximately 45 minutes chatting with King Charles. It follows the defeat of the Duke of Sussex's high court case to the Home Office's decision to reduce his taxpayer-funded personal security when he pays a visit to the country. After learning that he would not receive the same degree, of publicly funded protection while in the UK, which would include any visits related to the Invictus Games, Harry filed a lawsuit against the Executive Committee for the Protection of Royalty and Public Figures, RAVEC. Last year, Harry and Meghan went to an Invictus Games warm-up in the United States. The Prince, 39, introduced the Games at the Copper Box Stadium in London in March 2014 and Birmingham is already in the process of competing to be the host city this May. The UK will once again host the Games after the government submitted a £26 million offer to host the event. When Prince Charles, Camilla, and Prince William joined Harry for the opening ceremony at the first Games in 2014, senior royals were asked to declare their support for the event. However, Charles was a working royal full-time at the time so any disputes and tensions were kept under wraps. Since 2014, 22 countries and over 500 participants have participated in the Invictus Games, which have grown to be a well-known international sporting event. One of Prince Harry's final accomplishments during his time as a full-time working royal, it holds great significance, and he is extremely proud of it. He can also reunite with other veterans of the military through the Games. Prince Harry amended his national records earlier this month to indicate that he no longer resides in Britain. The USA is now listed as the new country slash state usually resident. 4. Prince Henry Charles Albert David Duke of Sussex According to filings made public by Companies House, the United Kingdom was the preceding entry. The king had requested the prince and his family to leave. Therefore it raises doubts as to whether he will remain in Frogmore Cottage for the length of the games. It was reported not long after that the king's doctors had cleared him to resume his public engagements following his cancer diagnosis. Although His Majesty is still receiving treatment and is not yet free of the illness, his medical staff is said to be 
pleased with the progress made so far, and remain positive about his prognosis. In addition to announcing two significant milestone events, the first of many to come, Buckingham Palace has expressed gratitude to their majesties for all of the well wishes they have received in light of the positive news. In the thirteen years after Kate married his son Prince William, they are reported to have developed a close relationship since she has been accepted into the royal family. Furthermore, it's claimed that the fact that both senior royals underwent surgery in January at the same time cemented their connection. All those whose lives have been affected by cancer, Kate said in her public video message, adding, you are not alone. Furthermore, this has been interpreted as a direct nod to Charles. In order to give her husband, Prince William, and their three children, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis, the information, she claimed she had postponed making any public announcements. Her remarks were made in the midst of growing conjecture regarding the princess's location in the months following her operation. 